All right, listen up, people. Listen up, people. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Chad Johnson, as you that's what I call him. You guys call him Ocho. He should be in the Hall of Fame. And I'm going to tell you why. And this criteria is simple. It's not even that complicated. Very simple. Number one, he should be in the Hall of Fame because he's one of the best receivers. But that's really not an argument. You know, he's one of that's a lot of people will say so and so should be in the Hall of Fame because he was a good. I'm gonna give you the reason why. And you go look this up. Go look up your favorite receiver and compare this, compare his statistics to what I'm about to say about Chad. 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. You see, I have six fingers up. That's six seasons. Chad was consistently a top five receiver those six years. And there may be an argument. No, he wasn't. If there's an argument, it would probably be 2002. So let's just take that year out. So from 2003 to 2007, that's five seasons. He was consistently on everybody's list as a top five receiver. If you are a top five player, at your position for a period of five years or more, no-brainer, Hall of Famer. The fact that he's not even getting consideration is a crime. It's incompetence. Now, go look at your favorite receiver and outside of the Randy Mosses, the Jerry Rices, the T.O.'s, and that's my generation, or slightly before me, you tell me who's done that. You tell me the last receiver that has gone in, I believe it might have been Calvin Johnson. Very similar. Calvin Johnson played eight or nine years. Nine years? And he was probably a top wide receiver eight of those nine years. Warranted. He's in as he should be. But if you're a top five player like Chad was for that period of time, I believe that warrants you being in the Hall of Fame. It really is a... perplexing to me when when you ask that like why isn't he in I couldn't even give you an answer of why he isn't in like first off let, let, let's be a finalist first like get in we can't even get him on the finalist list and there's guys that can't stop with him that are in like it's kind of crazy to me but again people will say I'm biased y'all let me know what y'all think I think that's a bulletproof way to analyze but hey I'm open for suggestions